Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 85 Drag and Drop Using Current Target I'm starting a new FLA Keeping the Action Script 3 Okay Calling this layer Movie Clips MC Movie Clips Select in Frame 1 I have it on 100% The first thing I want to do is pick up my Rectangle Tool right here I want fill to be red, stroke can be black, and I'm making a rectangle. Pick up my selection tool, modify, oops, highlight it, modify, convert it to a symbol, make sure a movie clip is selected, and call it red, capital R E D underscore M C. Copy that. and paste it here in the properties panel for movie clip red paste it in going to pick up the rectangle tool again and I'm going to pick up a fill color of blue I'm holding the shift down and I'm making a square this time pick up my selection tool highlight it modify Convert it to a symbol blue, capital B L U E underscore M C. Copy this. I am doing these tutorials for people that are new with Flash, so I do a lot of things over and over. Open the properties panel, and blue movie clip is where I want to be. Paste that in, and go back to the selection. To select the rectangle tool, this time click on the corner. I want the oval tool. And I want the fill to be yellow. And I'm going to make an oval. Click and drag and make an oval. Pick up the selection tool, highlight that. Modify, convert it to a symbol. Movie clip still selected. Yell, Y E L L underscore M C. Copy it. Open the properties panel. OK. Open the properties panel. Paste it in. You need to have an instance name if you're going to write code. Let's lock this movie clip layer. Come down here. Insert layer. Call it AS as an action script. Open that frame up. Click on that first frame. Open the actions panel. And Type, 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 type. We'll start up here with this line. Red underscore MC. That's the first one we made, the rectangle. Period. Add event listener. Small a, capital E, capital L. That all turns blue if it's spelt right. Open bracket. Mouse event. Capital M, capital E. Period. This is all capitals. Mouse underscore down. All capitals. It'll turn blue. Comma. Now we're back to the black. D R A G capital D close bracket semicolon. You can put anything you want in here as long as it's not a reserved word. If it's reserved word, it would change colors. Copy that line, paste it, paste it here, and up here make it most up again capital letters and change drag to drop. Then you can copy both of those lines, put a space in, paste them in change red to blue that's our second movie clip come down here put a space paste it in again change the red to yellow so now I have red movie clips blue movie clips and yellow movie clips that I can drag and drop now if I tried that right now it's it's I haven't defined anything what to do so I gotta be doing something I need a function now, if I wasn't using the, the uh, current target, I would write a function for each of these to drag and for each of these to drop, which in this case I'd need six functions. But because I'm using current target, I can do it all in, one, in two functions. So a couple of enters and type, 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 type. Here we go. Function turns purple. Drag, that's the first one up here that we named, the drag. Open bracket, event, small e, turns blue. Colon, mouse event, capital M, capital E, that turns blue. 
close bracket, colon void, void and function are the same color. Put in an open curly bracket, and as soon as you start to type this, this curly bracket comes in. If not, this closed curly bracket, put one in here, but it should come in as soon as you start typing. Event, E-V-E-N-T, small e turns blue, period. Current target, small c, capital T, that turns blue, period, start, drag, small s, capital D, this is going to allow us to drag it, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon, so regardless of which of these movie clips we select, this function, because it's called current target, will allow us to drag that movie clip. We could have a thousand here, and I believe it would still work. Close curly bracket. Now, you can copy this, then paste it. Drag becomes drop here. This all stays the same, and this stays the same right here. Instead of start drag, we stop drag. Now, I've already done this in other tutorials, so you may be a bit bored with it. But let's just see if it works. I can drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. And again, they stack in the order that you make them movie clips, as, uh, as you make them movie clips, not as you list them here. Now let's do something with this, with these movie clips as we, as we drag them. Let's go back to the main timeline, lock all the layers, select the movie clip layer, insert a layer, and call this one um, green, G-R-E-E-N. Let's come down here to my stage, select that frame one, make sure we have the oval tool selected. I want to fill of green and holding the shift button down, make a circle. Pick up your selection tool, highlight it, modify, convert it to a symbol, call it green, G-R-E-E-N underscore M-C, copy that. open the properties panel and paste it in for an instance name. Open up the open up the actions panel and down here at the end of all this code put a couple enters and type 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 again and we have this new code. Stage S-T-A-G-E small s turns blue period, add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, turns blue, open bracket, event, capital E, turns blue, period, enter, underscore frame, all capital letters, comma, and I'm calling this enter each frame, that's the name I'm giving to it, close bracket, semicolon, function, turns purple, copy, enter each frame, the function name, paste it in, open bracket, little e, colon, the little e turns black, colon, event, capital E, that turns blue, close bracket, colon, void, void and function, same color, open curly bracket here for my function, and as I start to type, one of these down here will probably appear, one of these closed curly brackets, and here I'm saying if, if turns purple, same color as function, open bracket, Green underscore MC, capital G, that's that circle we just made. Period. Hit test object. Small H, capital T, capital O, that all turns blue. Open bracket, capital R-E-D underscore MC, that's that red movie clip. Close bracket, close bracket. If that happens, we're going to trace uh, a value. Open curly bracket, trace, T-R-A-C-E, small T turns blue. Open bracket, quotation, red, space, hit, quotation, close bracket, semicolon. You can write anything in here you want. And close curly bracket. So I have two close curly brackets here when you're finished. So let's test this one out. Okay, move it to the side. I can click them and move them, click them and move them, click them and move them. And when I hit this, I trace hit red hits. So that works. Let's go back to the action script and let's copy this from here to here. Right click copy. Click there. 
couple enters, paste it in, and this time make this blue. B L U E and blue hit. B L U E. Click there. Couple enters. Paste again. And make this yellow. Y E L L instead of red. And make this red yellow hit. Y E L L. And let's just see if those three hits work. That one traces. That one traces. That one traces. I can see that over here. Okay. Let's do one more thing with this. Let's go up here and put two forward slashes in front of that trace. So I don't need to see it. Come to the end, put an enter in, and red, capital R E D underscore M C, red movie clip, period, visible, V I S I B L E, visible, space, equals, space, F A L S E, semicolon. So now when the green hits the red, it'll become invisible. Copy that, scroll down, put two forward slashes here, get on the end of that line, put an enter, paste in that copy, and change this to blue. Come down the page to the last one, two forward slashes, get to the end of that line, put an enter, and paste and call this YEL, Y-E-L-L, -L. and I'm just going to do an auto format here, sometimes it straightens it out for me. Control, test, movie, test. As soon as they hit, they disappear. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.